Hey y'all, this is Kylo. I um, was looking for a video to see how to uh, pin the grip safety on my new uh, STI 40 caliber limited gun. I could not find one, so I disassembled it and uh, I'm going to attempt to pin it now. Uh, I read an article on Front Sight by Bob Lonegren, um, how to do it. You, you're pinning these two parts together to keep your grip safety depressed, basically, uh, which is which is legal in USPSA Limited, so that's what I'm going to do as long as the, the thumb safety works correctly. And uh, the first thing we need to do is drill a hole right about here. I'm going to mark that and I'll uh, go over to the drill press then. Okay, I've got the mainspring housing set up on the drill press. and Per uh, Bob Lonegren's article, I'm going to drill a half inch into the mainspring housing. And I'll be back filming as soon as I'm done. Okay, I got everything set up, so uh, maybe I can film it and do it at the same time. Uh, give it a go. Okay, just one more thing. When you when you drill this hole in here, you you really want it to be parallel with the way the mainspring housing slides into the gun. If your pin is sticking out all crooked, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to slide it straight into the hole that you're going to drill into this piece here, and it'll be entering at some kind of funny angle. So, so that's that's also something to think about. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna do different uh, from what the article said was I don't have a roll pin, so I'm gonna sacrifice uh, one of these one sixteenth inch drill bits and uh, just make sure it fits in there snug, and I'm gonna cut it off so that it, it sticks out. Uh, one quarter inch from the hole that I drilled in the mainspring housing and uh, I'm going to do that with a Dremel tool just chuck it up measure it and uh, slice it off and sand the end off and I'll be back when I'm done with that okay I've got it all back together the pin is sitting right in there I don't think it's focusing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just going to lay it on the table and I'm just going to just going to tap the back of it with a hammer so I can leave a mark where the uh, grip safety is depressed fully I'm going to hold it down tight, and that's where I'm going to drill my hole where the pin will go in. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Okay, I finished drilling the hole in the uh, back of the grip safety. You can see it right there. Not very big, but um, I checked it before I, I put it in here. And I'm going to try to put it all together and see if it actually pins it down in an off-safe position. Okay, I've got it in there, and the, uh, everything feels tight when it's pushed in all the way, but... Uh, you know, there's pressure on the mainspring, so I got to pin the mainspring back in there when I put the magwell back on and reassemble the gun, and then I'll be back for a uh, function test. Okay, got the gun back together, got the grip safety pinned, uh, everything functions correctly as it should. Uh, I'm going to do a uh, do a live fire function test just to just to verify, but that's that's how you do it. Hope you all enjoyed it.